Hello. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Mimi Quarantina. And on this gloomy day, I decided why not do a snarl? And it's October, so you know. So we will indeed be watching um The Beast in the Orchard or A Beast in the Orchard. One of two. Same thing. But yes, let's get to it. Want to hear something scary? Click, click, shh. The following story was inspired by a submission from Ellie. Legend has it that in a rural Navajo town called Many Farms, there was once a fruit tree orchard behind the lake. The town's less fortunate would steal from it late at night when the owner was asleep. When he finally caught on, the owner was so angry that he asked the devil to turn him into a tall, hairless, and this is going fast to be monster to scare away the thieves. The orchard may be gone now, but all the town's elders claim that the monster is still there, waiting to attack anyone who comes near his property. Click, click, shh, they'd say. That's the sound he makes, like a horse clicking and dragging his feet. If you ask any of the townspeople about this legend, they'll tell you about a man named Koi. He was working for a construction company building a new gas station. If the work went into the night, he was paid overtime. So, some nights he would stay as late as 3 a.m. These but every stories morning, are always his good. I always love myself who he lived good with, would horror beg story. Him to come home earlier because she was Even afraid. Even fictional. The click, click, shh. These Koi are always, would always good. laugh her off. Does it sound like this, Grandma? He'd tap his cheap, oversized boots twice on the ground and drag them, while chuckling at his poor grandma's reaction. You listen to me, young man. Something lives by that lake. I've heard it, she'd insist. But he'd pretend not to hear her as he ran off for work. One night, when he was working late, a pair of elders on his crew began trading their own stories. The first described in eerie detail a tall figure with jaundiced yellow eyes that crept through the trees along the lake, watching him. The other claimed he'd run for his life once after fishing at the lake at night. Koi found this himself taking a pause in his drilling work to hear the stories. When his foreman walked up and told him to get back to work, sorry if we scared you, the first elder said. Those old stories don't scare me, Koi replied. But seeing the fear in his eyes, the first elder gave a knowing nod. That night, driving home from work, Koi's truck suddenly shut down. The battery had died, which meant he would have to walk the rest of the way home. As he started the five mile trek, he noticed the beauty of the moon shining down on the lake and chuckled to himself about the elder's stories. And that's when he heard it. Click, click. Koi stopped and turned around, but nothing was there. He walked on, and there it came again. Click, click, shh. Thinking it must be the elders from work messing with him, Koi stopped and said, very funny, you can come out now. Click, click, shh. Koi turned again to see a figure in the tree line. It was tall hmm. and shaped like a human. Growing angry, Koi slung a rock at it when suddenly it charged at him. Terrified, Koi ran for his life. The click click followed his exact footsteps. He ran faster and faster, but the monster was catching up. As the end of the lake came into view, he was certain he'd be safe if he could just get to the other side. But then, Koi's oversized boots came loose and he tripped and fell over. He heard the click click shh as he turned to see its piercing yellow eyes and six inch claws glistening in the moonlight. He was tall, at least seven feet and his pale, hairless skin was covered in scars and goosebumps. His mouth looked like a shark's, several rows of teeth protruding. Koi looked up at the monster and whispered, I'm sorry, Grandmother. No one saw Koi ever again, or so they say. So pay a visit to many farms. You just might hear the click, click, shh in the night. But if you do, don't bother running. You won't be fast enough. Thank you to all of Hey, sorry y'all, my phone just died and I don't want to keep taking it on and off the charger. So I'm on my bed laying down, you know, watching paranormal activity, but not the movie, like actual show. 
investigators and stuff but yeah while eating candy so thank y'all so much for watching hope y'all like my video if you don't jump off a clip it's like now nah, i'm playing with you don't forget to like comment and subscribe for your girl mimi quarantina